thank you very much for your time today. Uh, today's subject, we are going to speak about the project management scheduling and very important part for project management scheduling is planning scope, time and budget. Um, you know that we have power projects and I will make some samples for case uh, using the power projects. Uh, just very short introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Tekin. Um, I'm a founder and the acting uh, CEO of uh, Future Network Development. And uh, my profession is more about uh, project management, scheduling, and I'm uh, also uh, agile and linear project and BIM area expert. Uh, I have more than 20 years experience now. Uh, and uh, about my uh, proficiency. I'm a civil engineer and uh, more about technology kind of the Primavera, Tylos, uh, Power Projects, Isetia and CustOS uh, implementation specialist and trainer for the trainers so that I will be training many people with Primavera. Today they are training uh, for users uh, all around the world and uh, the point is that uh, I've been taking acting role for many implementation and consulting process uh, regarding to real example. That's why uh, I will be very happy to sharing with you uh, my real experience today. Uh, but uh, please also uh, understand that today there are more people, too many people. Some people are very starting point, some people are advanced point. That during the, my presentation, if you have a question, you can type it. If I'm not able to cover it today, uh, we can make it a individual sessions for going to more details. By the way, uh, greetings to Dilip Kumar, uh, one of the, our Power Projects fund uh, user. Uh, and uh, he was writing for hi, an afternoon probably for him for in Middle East. All right, just the for future network developments is a Polish uh, based company. Uh, we have more than 15 years experience. Uh, one of the important points which we would like to uh, always highlight, proudly highlight, that uh, we are international solution provider and uh, together with our partners uh, all around the world, more than 80 countries, uh, we deliver more than 2,000 big customers uh, together with our partner resources, we have 450 international experts and engineers today uh, worldwide able to deliver solutions and services for our valuable customers. Uh, we are solution-based system that we, we just pr uh, proposed a couple of uh, solutions dedicated for area. Today, I will be able to speaking about the power project, but we have also ICETIA for uh, agile uh, construction agile project management system uh, portfolio and documentation and uh, contract management system we have Tilos time location system and cost os uh, the best uh, 5d and cost estimation software tomorrow we are going to have also cost os webinars and this week and uh, first week of the january we are also repeating some more sessions for dedicated solution that's why uh, please follow up uh, our uh, social media and you will be able to join other webinars which we are going to make it uh, this month and next month. And we have many customers using today a solution which I'm going to present, Power Project. Many of you know that Power Project name before called Asta Power Project. And uh, now we are having a name only Power Project. Asta is not any more available as a name, but product the same. And these are the some customers. Power Project is successfully implemented by FND in international markets. And you can see that we have small, medium-sized project. Also, we have a very large and big size of the projects, which was uh, used uh, as the Power Project, and uh, it was delivered successfully project on time and budget. And some of the customers I would like to very fast just show and move, uh, like uh, Maze, uh, one of the biggest uh, project management consultant company and also customer of our project. Uh, we have uh, from Azerbaijan, Pasha Construction, and in Middle East, uh, Jumaria Park Developments, 
in international airports, uh, like I mentioned, Hong Kong airports, uh, Shirpol airports, we have Istanbul airports, uh, we have a lot of customers using uh, in airports uh, area. We have strategic important projects, kind of Mecca and Medina expansion projects, uh, has been used the power project. Uh, in India, we are working with many big uh, Indian customers. Uh, Godrej Properties is one of the biggest uh, real estate properties uh, in investor uh, company, uh, and they Im implemented our project in their company. And we we also proudly always mentioning that Istanbul Third Bosporus project has been completed successfully using our project in Thailand. And some of the projects, as you see that uh, as the power project used uh, in like Warsaw Metro, like King Abdullah Financial District projects, uh, and uh, interface of the power project, if you look at it, uh, very similar to uh, Primavera or other project management system. But today I would like to show a couple of things, which is unique functionality for power project. That's why people love to use power project. Okay, very fast, I make it the first part so that we can start now live uh, demo. And uh, let me open Power Project. Okay, uh, before just the Power Project interface uh, for uh, going to uh, examples, I would like to mention that uh, interface of Power Project is very familiar with like office tools like Excel or Words. You can just open, you can save, save us, or when you want to create a new projects, you can easily use the templates. Templates help you to open the uh, list of activities or the calendars view and etc. Uh, when we go to project interface, you can see that uh, we have the area, which is, uh, I always mention that Asta has own Excel sheets here which is that you can write an activity name, activity duration, start date, finish dates. You can move and change it uh, here, or you can edit more fields by adding here uh, more columns. You can see that available columns if you would like to put it here. For example, income, you can also insert the income fields. And income fields, you can see that available in uh, Asta Excel part. This part is also integrated with Conchart, and this is the must for scheduling software to have scope area, details area, and the time distribution area. And we can easily register the activities, kind of that we can, when we just create an activity, you can draw here activity by mouse, just saying that, okay, this is the 10 days activity, and activity duration is here immediately uh, inserted the field. Uh, start date of activity you can manually change or you can move the activity on the right side. You can see that it's applied to field from here. The same for finish dates. If you extend it here, finish dates will be changed and you can see that you can move activity in the left side and right side. And you can also enter the activity by entering here, for example, for excavation. Let's say we would like to do the excavation and you can type it here, like say the one week. And you can see that activity has been entered here. The reason why activity I wrote it one week and enter it here, my default calendar is five days working calendar. That's why system calculated working days during the one week is five day. Another start date is today and date is 7th of January. The reason for uh, this because that we have a project calendar and this is the Christmas time and project has holiday. If I enter it, for example, the same uh, five days in January, uh, let's say that, let's move it here and another activity. This is five days and this is five days and you can see that the start date and end dates are different because there is no holiday in January. That's why system is smartly also uh, calculating holiday time. You can move it activities, just the moving here, for example, uh, for the, the uh, being that second activity like an excavation. Let's go excavation activities uh, one month. And it's calculated, let's say 20 days. 
Uh, you can also write it here 20 days directly. Uh, and second activities, let's write it isolation. Third activities, we can call form work. And let's say that form work activities, we will have 15 days. And also we'll start at 15 days activities, just starting from, let's call uh, the same in the, let's say January. We can also edit another activities for, let's say rebar. And we can also edit here concrete curing. So that it's enough, I created five activities. So that you can see that my five activities start dates are the same, but we all know that when we make the project, we need to create a logic between our activities. That one of the logic we need to create it is, let's say, which activity will start first. In this case, excavation activity will start first so that you can just select the activity from here and created the relations from this activity finished and second activity which is isolation will start it okay and another relation we can just create it that isolation activities will finished then we start form work and we can say that form work will finished rebar starts and rebar activities finished, concrete work starts. So that I created logic that each activities will start after first one is finished. This is my comment. Each planner can have the same or different. You can say that isolation activities uh, start uh, together form work or rebar. But when we schedule the work, which is that F9, that's scheduling options, when you schedule the work, you can see that our project is now here. <coughs> uh, make the relations, just uh, one finish and another start. And here, one thing also important that you can select those activities, okay? And you can group those activities as a work breakdown structures called foundation. That if you call activities as a foundation, and you can see that I have foundation activities, which is here created for myself and as a sketch. So that you can just change the duration of activities and reschedule it. You can see that all the links kept and it can work very easily and you can create it, your activities by this way, right? Uh, one of the advantage what we have is that you don't have to manually create it as many of our customers has this data in Excel so that if you have any data in Excel, you can easily copy past or if it is very complicated and uh, advanced at Excel file, you can import export Excel file. You can just select it here and you can just pass and you can see that what I copy and passed, you can select all this task and link it and when you schedule it, you can see we get automatically what I had in B4. So that you can select this one. And here we can call, okay, this is a foundation activities. And when you do this foundation activities, you can see that, okay, we have excellent uh, way of in the foundation. One of the advantage what we have, you can select this group of the task and make it as a task pool. This is also very useful for uh, big projects and repeating works that you don't have to manual entry this time because I created methodology under the task book called foundation so that I can select the foundation works and put it here as a foundation works. And you can see that foundation works automatically here created the task. Okay. So that I can call this one foundation one. Let's say we are going to make it five villas and five foundation we are going to have. This is a foundation one. Second one, I can just select and put it here as a foundation two. 
And third one I can select and put foundation three. And again, I can repeat it here, foundation four. And let's say, okay, this is the my fifth one and it's a foundation five. So that by using the task pool, I created here foundation one, foundation two, foundation three, and here foundation four and foundation five. So that we have five ELS and I'm going to make it five foundation. All right. And what you can do, uh, you can create the link between foundation one to foundation two or excavation one to excavation two. You can see that I created the relation from excavation one to excavation two. The same also, I'm just creating manual link uh, sorry, manual link from excavation two to excavation three. I, this way, I have one excavation machine or one excavation team, and I want to finish one and to move the another one, so that you can just create it by this way, a link between uh, foundation four here. By this way, when you schedule it by F9, and if you go to format, select the red items, you can see that we have critical paths apply on this. Of course, there are some activities shouldn't be open end. We can also make a relation for the not open end activities, but at least that I have some relation. One of the advantage in Power Project, even after you schedule, you can make undo and delete what you've done by link. So I deleted this link. And let me show you another nice possibilities in Power Project. So that when you have those activities and I have no relation between the foundation, I can schedule it and it will start all of them at the same time. Why? Because I have no relation at the moment between these activities. But in Power Project, you can also create link between work breakdown structures to work breakdown structure. You can say that foundation one will finish and foundation two will start. And when you schedule this, and you can see that it's moved completely the second foundation end of the foundation one. By the way, I show you only the finish to start relation, but if you double click the link, you can also open and you can say start to start relations. Okay. Four kind of relations available in Power Project, but you can say start to start relation and go to link start and you can say, I would like to calculate the leg types by person. And when 50% foundation one finished and foundation two can start. So that you are saying that. 50% of foundation one will finish foundation two work start. So that when you do this, system automatically calculated foundation one duration and in the middle of the foundation, foundation two start the work. What is the advantage for it? Because we other scheduling tool, we manually enter the leg type kind of start to start five days. But sometimes excavation one can extend it longer and by this way, as a planner, you have to go manually change the leg types. In this case, duration will be automatically calculated by 50%. Okay, so that this is also one of the nice possibilities which you can do with the power project, right? And uh, another nice possibilities in power project that you can also say that, okay, when the, let's say, 20% of, let's say, foundation one finish, foundation two start. When the 20% foundation two start, you can just create a very fast link between the foundation to foundation work breakdown structures. And when you schedule it, you can see that schedule is already completed by not creating any link between the activities. All right. 
so that this is the one of the advantage. Uh, also, you can really create a very easy schedule in our project. All right. Another one that this is classic way for creating the activities, like you created an activity, you created in the work breakdown structure, but we have also very nice possibilities for creating the activity for repetitive scheduling method. So that let's say that foundation is completed and we are going to make it, for example, first floor, second floor, and third floor wall works. Okay. I created one activity and I'm calling these activities, let's say that brick works. Okay. And here I can also create another line because that I can create in Asta activities on the same line, not going down. All right. Okay. And this one I can call activity call Gibbs works. All right. And you can see that I can present it, this activity on the same line. And third one, I can create it here, activity call painting works. All right, so that I have here three activities, all right? And these three activities are here uh, acting like classic methods, like you can say that, okay, 20 days, 15 days, 10 days, all right? And when you schedule it, you can see that these activities are acting like critical activities, okay? But one of the advantage which we can also do in Power Project, we can apply for codes under the code libraries. You can create your codes and you can say that, well, this is the first floor, and this is the second floor, okay, and this is the third floor work. Let's create it one more here, and this is the fourth floor. So that I created here activity, and it represents first floor, second floor, third floor. I can even edit here columns from the code libraries. And when I open this one, I can also understand it from here that which one are first floor, which one is second floor, and which one is third floor. Okay? All right. So that this is the brick works. Okay? So that you can do it this way. Uh, but you can also do it like this way that you can say, okay, this is the brick works, but I want to do it in different way. I want to do it that brick works, brick works, and brick works. And these are the brick works for first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor. So that I'm just planning discipline so that I make only brick works plan. These are just the showing me now brick works plan. Okay. Now I copy this. And second one, I'm just making the Gibbs works plan. And Gibbs works, I'm just saying generally 20% shorter than other works. And painting works. And painting work is generally 50% shorter than Gibbs works. It's faster going. Okay, so that you can see that I have here all those link and activities. And what I can do, I can just create it relations. Brick works, first floor finish, and then Gibbs work start. Gibbs works, first floor finished, then painting start. This is the way how you created the link. But we know that creating link is painful and too many link is required. So that our project has possibilities that you can select. You can select the old work and go to auto generating link options. And you can say that link the tasks. When you link the task, there is an option. It's saying that, would you like to finish all the brick works in the fourth floor and then start keeps work or you want to create it corresponding link such as 
first floor brickwork finish, first floor gipswork start, first floor gipswork finish, first floor painting start. I select this option and you can see that it's created the link automatically and when I schedule it, it's immediately just uh, uh, moved to all the logic and all link has been created. Very fast, but effective way. This is very helpful for repetitive scheduling work so that if you set up the logic, imagine that you have a 50 floor and if you set up some logic for the first floor, you can generate it, schedule automatically. It will be very helpful. And considering we have beam functionality, and when you have 3D model, when you merge it, this one, it will take very short time. You can create it your 4D scheduling uh, by, by, by this approach. And we always re uh, recommend this approach for infrastructure companies where they have a repeating work because Power Project also provide line of balance functions. In line of balance, you can also integrate it your schedule by location or for floor or sections, that kind of things. Okay, so that this is another one. By the way, if you want, you can change the view uh, by floor level. By this way, you can see that you don't have to see it in the old method. You can also move the same activities for the classic method, which is you can see that I have first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor plan. And I can have at the same time both of them. All right. So that when you created this, when you move and change anything here, when you see it here, it's already applied. This is all uh, the same schedule, but this is just a different view. Okay. All right. Uh, well, we can speak about scheduling techniques, methods, that kind of things I can show you. But the point is that it's very flexible software. You can really have a lot of possibilities for creating a schedule very fast, but I would like to also speak about cost because cost is very important parts uh, for our project so that I would like to just also speak today about the cost. Uh, one thing which I want to say that, all right, we have possibilities for task pool, as you remember. I can bring it the task pool here with the list of the all activities so that you can see that these are my activities which I was creating. I can open the histogram. In histogram, I can select that project cost. And here you can see that I have construction activities and you can edit here cost, which is I'm entering manually excavation cost. Let's say it's $10,000. And when you put it the excavation cost, you can see that system is summarized $10,000 to as a total sum. But at the same time, it's created here distribution of $10,000. Distribution of $10,000 is based on the duration distribution. So that if this activity move left side, or right side, or if I move the complete work breakdown structures in the left side and the right side, you can see that distribution of the cost is immediately impacted because this is now part of the activity. Let's say isolation is $2,000. Form work is $5,000. Reboring is $8,000. Concrete work is $6,000. And by this way, total sum is $31,000. And when you move the activity here, it is going to change. Of course, this is a fixed cost. And when you make it, for example, activity is longer time, fixed cost is not changed but distribution of the cash flow is changing, all right? So that this is very powerful uh, and this is the cost model on this, all right? And we can also insert the income, which is that Power Project also have income calculation and also Power Project has net profit calculation, we call the cash flow calculation. 
okay? That you can also get at the net cash flow. And this is the monthly cost, but you can also say, okay, uh, I would like to have escrow for cost, or you can say the total cost. It will be just a showing that your project total cost, how it is changing, all right? And this is really useful. You can do it uh, here, uh, income, total income, uh, difference between cost and uh, income, you can just do it this way, all right? But uh, I have a question. I have a question about uh, if the cost is not fixed. Good question. Uh, let me just explain then how cost modeling. Question is that if we have not a fixed cost and it is possible to have different type of cost modeling in Asta Power Project. Answer is yes. Let me delete this. Then I will present you possibilities of the cost modeling. Let's say. We have 20 days activities called excavation. Okay. And when I enter here manually $1,000, okay, system is just creating fixed cost as a default. And if this activity going here, $1,000 is not changing, but distribution of $1,000 is changing based on the duration in the time. This is fixed cost. Why as the power project is very powerful, if I go to here, cost allocations, this is the unique software which allows you that you can scope and cost plan at the same time. So that this is my project scope, excavation work, and this is my financial plan. Financial plan can be different than scope terms. What does it mean that? We can start work in January, but financially, this work will be scheduled in February. Or you can select and you can say, this is the point spent. We pay when the work finished after 10 days. What's happened now? That this is the payment milestone. And if the activity is going to finish in April, 10 days later, we are going to make the payments. All right, you can split the payments and you can say, okay, the first one, before activity start, five days before, uh, we are going to make it 200, which is 20%. Second one, we are making after the work starts, five days later, we are making up 50%, all right? The last one, we are going to make it when the activity finished 50% for the remaining. So that my total work is 1,200, why 1,200? Probably I entered here 200, all right. This is uh, 500, let's say this is 30%. All right, now it will be 1,000, okay. So that you can see that my activity has now three milestone. One is before starting advance payment, another is after starting 30%, and, and the last payment is when the work's finished. When this activity extends, you can see that start payments are not impacted because this is starting milestone, but this is end milestone. This is very powerful. You can make it payment milestone applied to task or work breakdown structure or project. By this way, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> without, <coughs> sorry, without creating uh, activity as a milestone, this financial works will be applied to tasks. So that this is very powerful. Make the people happy to using this software because you can easily integrate it cost with your scope. Okay, this is the payment and fixed cost, but uh, question was if we can model it different kind of cost in our project, answer is yes. So that when you apply the task, you can create it When you apply the cost, you can create it here double-clicking for the model instead of the fixed cost 
you can select it here time based cost all right and in time based cost you can select the time period you can say day and you can say we are paying hundred dollars per day for this work so that if it is a 40 days system calculated this is four thousand dollars if this activity will be 19 days it will be 1900 what i did here i modeled my cost based on time and without any resource assignments when i have my activity in 16 days my cost will be 1600 this is very powerful because you just model a time-based cost applied to activities and by this way if activity duration extends your project cost extends by the way you can have construction work 67 days but you agree with the subcontractor you pay maximum 50 days that duration of activity can be more but payment activity can be less you can also schedule it independently right for work and financial uh, financial period in different time this is also time based so that what we had fixed cost time based cost okay but in construction in project we have also third one which is unit based cost this the three cost model is available in cost management fixed cost time impacted cost and unit impacted cost so that unit impacted cost this is the third one this is my favorite you can just create it here let's say from boq items quantity of the work which is let's put it here we call task work but this is a quantity when you have excavation you can mention that excavation is six five hundred cubic meters so that i, I registered here unit base unit cost units of the activity excavation all right and here when i have 500 cubic meters all right i can go again for cost modeling and from cost modeling i can this time select it this is the quantity base when i selected the quantity base all right it's automatically loading my 500 cubic met, uh, meters which is system is recognizing and system is asking me unit cost let's say ten dollars per cubic meters when you do this system is showing this is five thousand now we have logic if i put it here 650 it will tell me that six thousand five hundred all right this is my cost if the time is extended it will not impact it at all all right because this is unit based it means that my subcontractor can finish the project as late as possible they wish but i pay them per unit all right this is a, a task base one thing which is that you can also assign to activity for for the same cost but this time you make it income and task base and this time you can enter here your income by 15 dollars all right so that now you can see and here my project cost 6500 my project income 9700 if i work 1000 cubic meters you can see that my cost for excavation 10000 my income 15000 and if this activity extended here i can have it my my cost i can also add another histogram for project cost and monthly income and this time i have my scope my cost my income my scope of work by units my total income cash flow total cost cash flow so that i have all information what i need 
And if I move this activity left side and right side, I can get it my cost distribution and income distribution. All right. What I can do more, I can also edit here my project cash flow. And now I have project cost, project income, and project net cash flow. What more? I open my schedule here. My cost and my income schedule can be different. Let's say that my income is I'm getting the later on. It means that my client paying me after April. All right. And you can see now I have magic full information as a planner, as a project manager, as a scope manager. I have all information what I need. I have work definition, I have duration of the work, my cost, my income, scope, which is that quantity of the work, my cash flow, my income, and my cost. Do you have any question for this? All right, so that one question is asking if my <coughs> cost and income has different currency. It means that, as I understand, you pay dollars, but you get, for example, uh, income in the uh, different format. Yeah, the answer is yes. We can have different currency. Uh, by, let's say, my income columns, I select it here, right click, and go to table definition, or format cells, this is the same like an Excel, currency, select, and I said my currency is euro for income, and you can see that it's immediately changed my currency by currency work rates in dollars and in euro. So you can have multiple currency using by power project. Another question we have Mohammed is asking, could we add many costs in one activity? Yes. Answer is yes, we can add it many costs in one activity. How it it's how we can do and uh, we can just uh, Added, for example, from cost center. By the way, you can edit as many as possible by manually from here. You can create it, and each of them you can uh, have a different model. Or from the cost center, we can also have labor cost, material cost, preliminary cost, design cost. You can assign in the same activity as much as cost you would like to have so that one activity you can assign multiple and each cost can be different model one is time based fixed one is a time based let's say and another one is a quantity base and by the way if you don't want to show the cost to people you can just hide at the cost schedule and if you want to show the cost you can open the cost schedule and if you have another activity called foundation, let's say concrete work, okay, and you can also assign for concrete works another cost. Let's say that, okay, I assign it here, another cost. And you can also group by this works. As a work breakdown structure, let's say called foundation works. And you can see that I have cost here for activity, but cost can be assigned 
to work breakdown structure directly also. Design fees you can select and assign it to by drag and drop to work breakdown structure. Because in construction, we know many cases we have a cost which is applied to work breakdown structure. For example, design fees. Design fees we never apply per activity. Design fees we apply per project or per work breakdown structure. So that's why core project allows you also ability to assign uh, the design cost to work breakdown structure directly. Okay? Does that make sense for this? Okay. Let me show you one thing, which is uh, one question is about if we can also save these cost factors uh, for task book. Very good question. Let me just show you one example, which is very important. Another question that I got about resource. If we can also, not manually by cost, but resource cost, we can do it. Answer is yes. Then let me show you very good one example. Let's say I am creating one example project which will cover all your questions. One is that I would like to have plaster work. Okay, so that I create activity called plaster works. This is a 30 days works, 1000 square meters total scope. And now my question, my, my, my question what I have is, can we have resource cost, material cost, labor cost, uh, estimated other expenditures and etc. The answer is yes. Let me show you how we can also estimate it by effort, allocation, material, cost, income, and everything. All right. In left side, we have project information area. One by one, we can assign resources and calculated cost, but we don't have it to do this. We don't have to do this because we have here location group. Plastic work can be done by plaster team. So that when I selected the plaster team here, right, and select drag and drop inside of activity i have created here very fast information and plaster works need to have four resources one is plaster master another assistant plaster master workman assistant workman all right and allocation for this people for 17 and total man hours is 1300 what are the other materials required? Dry mix, these are the material which I need to have to be able to manage 1,000 square meters work. Total cost is 18,230. My end of December cost, my end of January cost, this is the uh, our cost calculation, all right? And what are the most important things? These are not a fix, which is, let's say, checking, could you please let me know how much it will cost? By the way, I can select it here. Let's make it this colors red. Uh, okay. Okay, this is the cost, all right? And you can tell me if we have not 1,000, but 2,000 square meters. I increase the work to 1,000 square meters. And this is, let me just change. Okay. Point is that when I move the activity for 2,000 square meters, you can see that unit cost has been changed to 36,000. Why? Because now we need not four people, we need eight people. In total, 11 people was required, but now we have 12, uh, 22 people required. It was 6,000 end of December, now 12,000. So that what I did, 
I move it here. When the quantity of the work is changed, all right, the total cost is changed. So that if you manually also can do it like this way, you can move the activity left and right. When I move it here, instead of the 30 days, when I do the nine days, all right, and you can see that the cost is not changed, right? But allocation number changed. Material is fixed. It didn't change, but number of the labor resource and machinery numbers are changed. So that what I want to mention that resource can be assigned to task, resource cost, quantity, material. Everything can be easily estimated by a system. It's very flexible and uh, easy to use. 